Lewis. Shut down by Kip and Vicini, and that's going to do it. The Stanford Cardinal handle the Oregon Ducks. Look at these blocks. They shut it down in the first set. Thanks in part to Sammy Francis and her excellent defense and the active offense by the card. Four on the attack in that first set, holding Oregon to .094. They were dominant. Looking to extend that momentum here in the second set. The Ducks trying to course correct and try to make some adjustments. Cami Miner will continue the serve. Collier out and wide. First point, Stanford. Collier led the Ducks offensively with five kills, hit 250 in the first set. They will look to lean on her once again in the second set. Second serve for Miner. Strong hit by Lewis. Oregon ties it up at one. Morgan Lewis had a couple of kills in the first set. Gets her first here in the second. Now serving Georgia Murphy. Set by Miner. The tip off of Oregon, and it's Stanford's point. Vicini giving Stanford the lead. Take a look at this read. The back set by Miner, so pretty. Vicini just watched it land off the block. And Stanford leading two to one here in the second set at Maples. They took that first set decisively, 25-15 from the Oregon Ducks. And Katie Baird will serve. In there for an ace. Katie Baird gives the point to the Cardinal. The back corner just lands beautifully. Cardinal up 3-1. Service. This time it's long. Good read by the Ducks. Make it 3-2. Not the first time the Ducks have been in Palo Alto this season. The Big Ten Pac-12 Challenge back in September. They split against number 10 Minnesota. They took the loss, but they won against then number 15 Ohio State. Had some tough battles here in Maples as Kip tools the block for another one. Ball out of bounds. Point. And now serving for Stanford, number nine, Elena Oglevy. Elena Oglevy back at the service line for Stanford. Serve goes long. Had some service errors on both sides of the net this evening. Four in the first set for Oregon, three for Stanford. Seen some so far here in the second. Make it another one. Point Stanford, possession back to Stanford. And now Kendall Kipp will serve. Misses wide. Several service errors in a row. Subbing into serve, Oregon, Subbing into serve now for Oregon is Elise Ferreira once again. Set by Miner to Ruben. Long. Looks like it tipped off the Oregon defense. So the point goes to Stanford and the service to Stanford. Cardinal up 6-4. The 
way she plays, you would not know that Elia Rubin is only a sophomore. Tussle at the net, the point goes Oregon's way. Ducks staying within one. They trail six to five. Pucus. Baird. Handled. Point goes to Lewis. Lewis and Collier have been the most active as they tie it up here at six. Miner with the dump. The Ducks handle it. The block right at the net. Some hesitation by Francis. And Oregon takes the lead. Stanford knows this very well, but when you're facing a top 10 opponent in the country, like number six, Oregon, winning that first set is a good tone setter, but it doesn't mean anything. You have to wipe the slate clean and take care of business in the following. Francis with the tip. Oregon <laughs> makes it out of the jam. Baird off the block. Gonzalez gets it over. Francis. As rally here, Baird with the tip, a little long. The set, Gonzalez, the dig by Oglavy. Kip from the outside, shuts it down. Kendall Kip ties it up at seven. Kendall Kip going for the kill. Look at that dig by Oglavy to set this up. The beautiful set by Miner. The big swing by Kendall Kip. A well-oiled machine for this Cardinal team. Pringle back into serve. Miner to Baird. Over to Lewis. The dig by Pringle. Kip pushes it over. Baird softly finds the floor. Katie Baird is on a roll here for Stanford. They retake the lead eight to seven. Perfectly placed, excellent read. Pringle again. Pucas, Collier off the block, but handled by Vicini. Baird again. Point again. Nine seven Cardinal. Katie Baird with the power. Momentum still swinging Stanford's way. Had some good runs with Pringle at the line. Beautiful angle by Kara McGee. A decisive kill. And Oregon's back within one. Gabby Gonzalez at the service line now for Oregon. Goes long. Stanford recovering possession quickly. Double digits for Stanford. Miner. Free ball for Stanford. Miner with the set to Baird. Off the block. Goes out. Ball out of bounds. Point. Chalk another one up for the Cardinal. Miner once again. Kip with the hit. Set by Miner. 
Big swing by Kip, but Oregon staying in it. Gonzalez and Pukis keeping him alive. Off the block, and it's Katie Baird again. Gotta love and respect the effort in set number two. Oregon as a team hitting 308. Stanford, on the other hand, at 500 overall in the match, sitting at 486. Cami Miner back at the service line. Pukis over to Collier. Just wide. 13, Stanford. Looks like there was also potentially a net violation. Ball goes out of bounds anyway. Minor. <laughs> Big one by Lewis. The power behind that swing. Letting him know that the Ducks are still in this one. Georgia Murphy now serving once again for the Ducks. Back set, Kip. The dig by Oregon. Kip the set up to Baird, tries to tip it. Baird again, off the block, handled by the Ducks. Tip, and it goes Oregon's way. The Ducks now at double digits, 10 points, number 10 still at the service line. Murphy, three-time All-Region and Pac-12 honoree. Excellent diving dig by Ogilvy Baird. Woo! The Liberos are doing it again. This time, Lewis says, it's going our way. The Ducks within two. Murphy continues. The Liberos are working hard. Baird attempts. Oregon scrambling. Kip, the kill. Kendall Kip makes it 14. The angle on that swing, look at that hit. And Katie Baird will be back to serve. Off the net, Lewis handles it. Over to Collier, but long. Cardinal once again, first to 15 here in the second set. Last time these two teams met in Eugene. Stanford won three sets to one. Another coach's challenge, because the officials will take a look. On October 22nd in Eugene, another top 10 matchup between these two squads. It went four sets, Stanford took three. Lost that third set, but took one, two, and four. But prior to that, Oregon had actually won three straight meetings against the Cardinal. You can see that. Went long. I'm gonna take a closer look. We've seen a lot of Kendall Kip in this match. We've seen a lot of Elena Ogle Oglevy. Kendall Kip had the match high 17 kills last time. Ogilvy with the team high 15 digs last time around. Let's take a look. See if it was tipped off of Stanford at all. 
That's the question that I think Oregon is asking. The call on the court was Point Stanford. And from that replay, it does not look like it touched Vicini or Kip. We'll see what the officials say after they finish the review. And it's confirmed. Point Stanford call on the court stance. No touch. So Katie Baird will continue. Service. Lewis off the block. In there. Morgan Lewis determined to keep the Ducks in this one. They trail 15 to 12. Subbing in to serve. For Oregon is Daly McClellan, the junior Oregon native. Ruben off the block, just out, tooled it. Making it 16. So Elena Oglevy to the line. Oglevy has been named the Defensive Player of the Week three times for the Pac-12. Another coach's challenge issued by Oregon. I think the key in these moments when the action stops and you have the momentum, it's just to stay relaxed. And you can see that the Stanford team is doing that. They're having conversations with Coach Hambly, making sure they're all on the same page, talking about what they're seeing, but they're also just relaxing, taking a break, trying to breathe. So take another look here. So it was off the block. Looked like it landed just wide of the line. That was the call on the court. Ooh, tough to see. But original call was that it was out and the point goes to Stanford. So as of now, 16-12, Oregon trying to see if this call can get reversed. If it got a little bit of that line and it is reversed. After review, the point goes to Oregon. May get 13 points for the Ducks to Stanford's 15. Coach's challenge by Matt Ulmer is successful. McClellan into the net. It was an opportunity for the Ducks, but the service error gives some control back to Stanford. Elena Oglevy at the service line. Collier, good read. The diving Ogilvy can't get to it. Oregon within two. Now serving for Oregon, 15, Collier, making her way to the service line. Minor to Francis, beats it down. Sammy Francis making her presence known. Beautifully executed. A lot of power behind that swing. Off the block and into Sanford's pocket. Collier. The dig, but a free ball. Gonzalez, dig by Oglevy. Ruben at the net, trying to fight. Point goes to Stanford. Net violation for the Ducks. Swing in Stanford's way. They lead 18 to 14 with Kendall Kipp at the line. Off the net. Point Oregon. 
The Ducks have made it to 15. Subbing to serve is Elise Ferreira once again. Head coach Ulmer says she's really a leader, has championship level work ethic and a feel for the game. Making some, the most of her opportunities. That ball actually bounced over here to the announcer's table. Trying to keep me on my toes. Take another look at this play. Off the block, out of bounds. So Stanford now with 19. And Ruben at the line. Big hit by Gonzalez. Kendall Kip runs out of room. Point Ducks. Hannah Pukas. She's the third Oregon setter to become an All-American in program history. That goes long. The Ducks now with another one. Pukas made the second team, the AVCA All-American squad last year. All Pac-12, including preseason. So you have an All-American setter on one side with Oregon, and you have the another one on Stanford side with Cami Miner, the reigning setter of the year in the Pac-12. So two absolute forces running the offenses here in this top 10 matchup. So take another look at this one as there's yet another coach's challenge. Stanford thought that one was in, so you take one more look. See, does it land? It looks wide, which was what the call on the court was originally, just next to that line. Excellent job by our crew getting that camera angle. Official taking a closer look. They have even more angles than we do here on the broadcast. An interesting portion of the schedule. The last stretch of the Pac-12 for both these teams, of course, but Stanford in the middle of a four-game homestand, whereas Oregon, on the other hand, are playing five of their last six matches on the road. Their entire non-conference slate of 11 matches was on the road as well, so they've been playing on the road quite a bit. Three of the last six opponents are also in the top 25, Stanford included, as well as ASU and USC coming up. So it remains 1917. Baird with a big swing. And a beautiful shutdown by Katie Baird. What timing, what a read. Served it up right to herself. Stanford now at 20. So the big hit. The dig, then it comes right back to her. Pringle comes right back with the ace. Make it 21, Anna Pringle has made an impact during her time in this match. Lewis diving for Kip. Point goes to Oregon. Like a potential net violation. And Gabby Gonzalez now serving for the Ducks. They're trailing by three here in the second set. Back set to Vicini. Off the block. Oregon handles it. Lewis off the block again. Oglavy. Over to Kip. Lewis, way long. Ball out of bounds. That one left the basketball court here at Maples. Now serving for Stanford, number two. Now serving is going to be Cami Minor.
the All-American. With the ace. Cammie Miner can do it all, folks. She runs this offense as the setter. She gets the ace. She reads things so well. She can get an excellent momentum going for the Stanford offense. She'll serve again. Some contact at the net for Oregon. And that makes it set point for Stanford. Fans are on their feet once again here at Maples. Stands have filled in. Minor. Collier, big dig by Ruben. Baird this time. Wide, point goes to Oregon. Ducks now have 19. Serving is the libero. Georgia Murphy still set point for the Cardinal. Tip by Kip. Oregon stays alive. This time Baird. We'll set it up again, Baird. Off the block and that does it. Katie Baird killing the game, literally. And she shuts down the second set. Stanford now leading two to nothing, 25-19. Which is Professor Christopher Gardner chosen by Kendall Kipp and Professor Hugh Wynn chosen by Katie Baird said they both had a big impact on them individually, not just in the classroom, but outside the classroom and off the court as well. So excellent to see that kind of camaraderie between the students and the professors, big part of the experience that you have as a student athlete. The student part comes first, and you love to see that kind of growth. So Stanford up two sets to nothing. Oregon will start off serving with Hannah Pukas. Big swing from Stanford. Tip, handled by Miner. Barrett attempts the tip. Stanford recovers. Kip this time. Good dig. The dump attempted, but Stanford recovering. Baird, big dig by Murphy. Big swing and another big dig by Ogilvy. Baird off the block, saved. What a rally. And the Ducks win it. Oregon will score first here in the third set, trying to stay alive. Pucas over to Baird off the set. In there for a kill. Score tied at one. So Stanford was hitting 474 after the first set, now hitting 364. They came in to this match. You can see that power leading the nation with 314 hitting percentage as a team. So trending above that now, as the serve goes long, and Oregon retakes the lead. Now Gonzalez will take her turn at the service line. Miner out to Baird, off the block. Kip handles it. Shoved down by Collier. Mimi Collier took control. Gives Oregon what I believe is the largest lead they have had in this match so far, three to one. Kip off the block, wow, the roof. Collier and McGee stepping up. Make it 4-1 Ducks. 
This is a team that just continues to be on the rise under head coach Matt Ulmer. He's got 10 All-Americans under his belt since his time on staff. That serve goes long. Stanford cuts the lead down to two. But Ulmer in his seventh season, 134 wins to 67 losses. Got his 100th win as a head coach versus Colorado about a year ago. Finished in the Elite Eight last year. And a big swing this match for Oregon. Both of these squads had an Elite Eight finish just a year ago. Ulmer started as Vaughn, an assistant coach, became associate head coach, now the head coach for the last six Sir, seasons, make it seven this one. year. Now for Stanford. Stanford with the side out. They trail by two with Ogilvy at the service line. Collier, beautiful. Big swing from the sophomore. Oregon up by three, serving now is Daly McClellan. Subs back in, she appeared in the final 24 matches of last season. Getting time here tonight as Kip goes long. The Ducks now lead by four. They do not want to get swept. Both these teams coming off a pair of wins. Stanford over the Washington schools. Oregon over the Mountain schools with Colorado and Utah. Last play is now under review once again. Both wins for Stanford against the Washingtons came in four sets. The top 10 matchup with number nine, Washington State here at Maples. Part of that four game homestand they're in the middle of right now. Oregon went four sets with Colorado. Had a season high 12 service aces, hit 380 as a team. Collier and Gonzalez had 15 kills each in that matchup, and they swept Utah a couple days before that. So we can see that that, the ball goes long. Looking at this. Swing. Take a look at the net. Does it touch Collier's fingers at all? Tough to see. Official's gonna try to make a call on this one. Oregon Ducks looking to make their 20th NCAA tournament appearance as a program this year. They've made it to the national championship final once back in 2012. Stanford has nine national championships under their belt, including 17 national championship matches. 23 Final Fours, historically one of the strongest volleyball programs in the country. Again, Oregon well on its way on the rise here in the Pac-12 in the top 10 nationally. They have two returning All-Americans in Pucas and Collier. And it's official, the call on the court stands. Score remains 7-3 Oregon. McClellan continues to serve. Kip, off the block, point Stanford. Cardinal trying to chip away here. 
So Kip with the kill. Make it killer Kip. She's now at the service line. Call here. Attempted to dig that one out was Baird. But too much power behind it. Oregon with eight. Collier now at the service line. Saved by Oglevy. An opportunity for Oregon with the free ball. Gonzalez dug up by Oglevy. Another free ball. Dump by Pukis. Excellent read by the setter. The redshirt senior taking advantage of her experience. Ruben over. Gonzalez. Side out for Stanford. Elia Rubin at the line. Fucus to Gonzalez. Minor over to Baird. Off the block. Stanford chipping away with six. Again, Stanford sitting first in the Pac-12 standings, and you can see why. Katie Baird, a big part of that success. A couple of games ahead of second place, Oregon. Saved. Gonzalez into the net. Another point, Stanford. They have cut the lead in half. They we're down by six, now down by just three. Stanford, of course, picked to take the Pac-12 in the preseason coaches poll. On track to do so, but they need to finish strong. Set by Miner. Back to Kip. Just out. Tipped, however, and go in the third set. Stanford was hitting 474 after the first set. Currently in the third, hitting 133 as a team. Meanwhile, Oregon improved to 357 in set number three. The block by Stanford. Gonzalez off the block. Stanford brings the roof down on Oregon. This is what happens between two top 10 teams. Competitive at the net. Serve. Tip, but recovered by Ogilvy. Back set to Kip. Off the block. Well executed by the Ducks. They sit out 11 points. Get the side out. Coming in to serve once again, Elise Ferreira. In this set, Oregon has begun to take advantage of some momentum. The ace putting them up by three once again. They're holding Stanford to hitting .062 in this set. Service error gives Stanford another opportunity. They're now double digits. The Ducks were picked to take third in the Pac-12 in that preseason poll. Now sitting there in second place. Service error by the Cardinal this time. Point goes to Oregon, 13-10. They were picked third behind number one, Stanford. Number two, Washington State. They've overtaken the Cougars thus far in the standings. Dumped by Miner. And the point goes to Stanford. 
One of the things I love about watching Cammie Miner is not only the way that she reads things, but she executes with no hesitation. You can see her make this decision. She goes all out full speed, able to turn things the cardinal way, and she'll be at the service line. Off the block. Kip. Big dig. Free ball. Kip again. This time in there. Kip brings Stanford within one. Killer Kip at it again. Cammy Miner at the line once more. Fucus back to Gonzalez. In there. The Ducks fight back. Still maintain the lead. Gonzalez will get the kill and now get the serve. Kip off the block. Oglevy, minor to Baird. Recovered by the Ducks. Opportunity for Stanford. And it goes long. A little bit of a break for the Cardinal there. They're back within one. Now serving for Stanford, number 22, Katie Baird. Katie Baird now back at the service line for the Cardinal. Off the block, the Ducks once again. Kara McGee. Oregon continues to maintain that two-point lead. The first to 15. First time they've done that in this match. Murphy. Kip. Strong. Kendall Kip getting in a rhythm now for the Cardinal. Take another look. Kip with the kill. Side out for the Cardinal once again within one. Elena Ogilvy. Into the net, service error. Oregon maintains that two point lead. Collier and Gonzalez had 15 kills each in their last match against Colorado in Eugene last weekend. Minor to Rubin. Wide. Three point lead for the Ducks. Service error goes long. Stanford now reaches 15. Kendall Kip at the line for the Cardinal. Fucus to Collier. The dig by Baird. Minor sets to Rubin. Finds the spot on the floor. Elia Rubin adds one to the Stanford tally. Another good read by Rubin. Kip serving into the net. The Ducks still maintaining that two point lead. Now serving number 15, Mimi Collier. Mimi Collier serving for the green and yellow. The tip recovered by Oregon. Another tip by Oregon off the net, and it's long from the Ducks. Point goes to Stanford. Point. 
right now as it stands, Oregon ahead 18 to 17. Coaches challenge, trying to see if there was a touch on the play coming from Oregon. The challenge being issued once again by Ulmer, who did have a call reversed earlier in this match. Trying to see if potentially, I think that looks like Sammy Francis maybe got some fingertips on it. That's what the officials are going to take a look at. Might have went right through the wickets, or did it get just a little bit of the fingertips? Oof, that is a close one. Amy Collier had 14 kills last time these two teams faced each other, just seven tonight, but Morgan Lewis has stepped up with 11 kills. And Gonzalez with six. And this could make a big difference here in the third set. I mean, just one point difference. Oregon been able to maintain that two point lead for the second half of this set so far, really. Stanford been trying to chip away. The Ducks been holding them at arm's length. The difference of one point could make or break the momentum here. Of course, Stanford would love to shut things down with the sweep, but Oregon hoping to extend this to the fourth set. Both these teams in the top 10, again, coming off a couple of wins, but both had a little bit of trouble earlier this season against a ranked ASU team. Both were swept. Stanford in Tempe, Oregon in Eugene. Stanford hit a season low 194 in that match. But they have come back extremely strong since. Call is confirmed there is no touch, so the point remains with Stanford. They still trail by just one. Elia Rubin at the service line. Dump by Hukis. Hannah Pukis, a couple of effective decisions so far tonight. Once again, the two-point lead. Elise Ferreira back at the service line. Set over to Baird. The dig. Softly by Gonzalez. Opportunity for Stanford. Baird again. Off the block, no one around. You saw the dive from Ferreira, but not in time. Once again, Stanford trailing by one. Off that block, you could see the hustle from Ferreira, but didn't have enough time. But Anna Pringle at the line has been a good luck for Stanford in this match. Gonzalez with the tip, Kip gets it over, but shutting it down was Kara McGee. Oregon now with 20 points. Yeah, the NCAA highlighted some key returners coming into this season. Collier, Pucas, and McGee all made that list for outside hitter, setter, and middle blocker respectively. The tip from Vicini, back set, Lewis. Make it a dozen kills on the evening for Morgan Lewis. She is leading this Ducks offense, hitting 476, 33 here in this third set. Only had one block in the first two sets, have four so far total now in this match. The tip from Lewis, good read. 22 points to the Ducks. And 
Morgan Lewis having herself a match here tonight. 13 kills on the evening. Over to Kip. This time Gonzalez softly over to Baird. Off the block. Hit over. Back to Baird. The dig by Collier. Back set to Lewis. We got ourselves a rally. Baird, long. The Ducks make it 23. It's the number six team in the country. They do not quit. Looks like the point actually overturned to Stanford. Looks like there was a touch. So Stanford now within three, and Cami Minor will serve. Into the net. Oregon now within two of forcing the fourth set. It's a team that came into this season, ranked nine in the preseason national poll. Only increased to six. Big hit by Kip off of her. Ogilvy tries to get it over out of bounds. The Ducks now with their first time in this match having set point. This is what the good teams do. They make the adjustments. You let your opponent hit almost 500 in the first set, barely over 100 in the second set. Good save by the Ducks. Kip in there. Killer Kip back at. Now with a dozen on the evening. The Cardinal needed that one. Now with 20 points, she finds that back corner. Baird serving. Back to Lewis. And that does it, Oregon. Fighting back, coming out on top to take the third set. The win, 25 to 19. Then just lost the third set to Oregon, 25 to 20. So you could see the Ducks chipping away from set to set. They were hitting as a team under 100 in the first set. Now at 200 even after the first three. Stanford went from 474 in the first set, now 275 on the match, coming into set number four. The lion's share of the offense has come from Katie Baird and Kendall Kipp for the Cardinal. 14 kills for Baird, 12 for Kipp. On the flip side, you got 14 for Morgan Lewis for Oregon. Has double the amount of the next person in line, which is Mimi Collier with seven, Gabby Gonzalez with six, Kara McGee with four. Minor with the serve. Big dig by Ogilvy. Baird off the block, not handled by Stanford. Oregon scores first. The Ducks able to make some adjustments and get ahead early in the third set, looking to maintain that momentum here in the fourth. Georgia Murphy at the line. Minor. Little miscue there with Vicini close to the net. Put another one in Oregon's pocket. Service. Minor over to Kip. Bam! Kendall Kip getting the Cardinal on the board. That is 13 kills on the night for the reigning Pac-12 player of the year. Now the kills leader on the night, Katie Baird for Stanford at the line. Gonzalez, dig by Baird. Kip keeps it in. Hit over. Off the block. Oregon trying to stay alive. And in! 
miraculous point by the Oregon Ducks. Coming in to serve is Daly McClellan once again. And a career high, 12 aces last year. Almost got another one there with the free ball. The dump by Pukas, this time the dig, but not back to back because Collier said no way. The Ducks now lead by three. Service. A little out of system. Over by Ruben. It's time to tip off the net, but saved. Kit played it off. Off the block this time. Kit. Over to Collier, attempted tip there, but well defended by Stanford. Off the block again, wide. Cardinal get point number two. Energy rising here in Maples Pavilion. Ogilvy serving. Dies in front of the net. Off the block. Attempted dump. Ogilvy tries to save it. Miner can't get to it. A little bit of miscommunication there by the Stanford Cardinal. Oregon now up five to two. Collier at the line. by Francis. Decisive moves made by the junior. The angle on that, the power behind it. Bring Stanford within two, Kip. Collier. Ruben tried to find a spot in the back. Gonzalez off the block, in there for Stanford. Cardinal within one. Sammy Francis gets the kill, then gets the block, inserting some energy into this Stanford team. Kip again. Over to Gonzalez. Falls in. Oregon. Two points ahead. Elise Ferreira back at the service line for Oregon. Stanford Cardinal having some conversation among their squad, trying to make sure they're on the same page. Kendall Kipp just ran off the court. It looked like she was looking at her hand. So there's a possibility Stanford. The fans in Maples rocking out while waiting for the action to come back. Love to see that energy. <laughs> we will rock you playing over the airwaves here at Maples. A lot of young fans in the building here tonight as well. Love to see that potentially the next generation. You might see some time here on the court. Miner's good to go. 
Cole Stanford team now good to go. Serving for Oregon still is Ferreira. Over to Francis. Francis again. Recovered by Oregon, Gonzalez. Ruben off the block. Gonzalez with the kill. Number eight on the evening for number eight. Ducks up 7-4. I think that was important for the Ducks to maintain that momentum that they had before the delay, and they continue to with the ace. A couple of aces on the night for Ferreira. Anna Pringle subbing in for the Cardinal. Ruben. Gonzalez again. Things up, they're down by one set. Stanford with two on the evening, but the Ducks with the momentum here in the fourth set. Oregon's run continues with Ferreira at the service line. Ruben. Point goes to Stanford. Net violation for the Ducks. The Cardinal catch a break. Now serving for Stanford, number 13, Elia Rubin. Elia Rubin, all Pac-12 preseason honoree. The dump by Pucus. Pucus now with four kills on the evening. The Ducks with double digits and double the points of the card. Now she'll serve. Francis, but off the block, point goes to Oregon. The Ducks were a wall on that one. They now have 11. Service error into the net. Service error point. point goes to Stanford. Sammy Francis Stanford, at the line. Sammy Francis. Francis with four kills on the evening. Powerful serve. The kill by Kara McGee. Her fifth of the night make it a dozen for the Ducks. Gabby Gonzalez. Dump by Miner. Great read. Sneaky Cammy Miner does it again. The point goes to the card. We've seen her attempt that a couple of times in this match. Definitely a tool that's in her toolbox. And now she's serving. Baird. Pucus. Tools the block. Lewis. Match high 15 kills on the night. She came to play. She's hitting 480 in this match as well. Morgan Lewis has been outstanding. Georgia Murphy serving. Cardinal out of system. Kip. Diving Oglavy. Baird. Off the block. Oregon surviving. Free ball for Stanford. Kip 
Off the block and then off minor. Kip again at the net. Lewis, the dig by Baird. And the point goes to Oregon. Official blew the whistle. Oregon now up by seven. The largest lead that they have had in this match. Kip. Boom. Killer Kip back at it again. 14th kill of the evening. Back part of the court. Katie Baird serving now. Long. The Ducks, back to back sets where they are the first to reach 15. Subbing, in to, serve, number four, Daly Subbing to serve once again for the Ducks, Daly McClellan. Long. Little break for the Cardinal. They'll side out. So Elena Oglevy. Trying to start something here for Stanford. She's got 15 digs on the night. Big block. Off Stanford, point goes to Oregon. Duck side out this time, Collier serving. Kip with the kill. Make it 15. on that outstanding. Sanford been out of system a bit the last couple of sets, more often than the first two sets. Point goes to Stanford. Line violation, Line violation by the Ducks. <laughs> they now trail by five. Kip to serve. Into the net. Tough moment for the Cardinal. An opportunity here from Oregon as they lead by six. Elise Ferreira back in to serve. Has a couple of aces on the night. Kip, again! Kip ties Morgan Lewis for the match high of 16 kills. Back within five, and Elia Rubin back at the line. Long. A couple of times, Stanford giving that away with a service error. Now serving for Oregon, Hannah Pukas. Setter, been running this offense well the past couple of sets. The lefty. Minor to Baird. Good dig by Oregon. Kip. Oregon's point out of bounds. Nation by Oregon. Serving for Stanford now, Kelly Velarde, the sophomore out of Manhattan Beach, California. Softly hit. Lewis. The dump by Miner, handled by the Ducks. Gonzalez, the tip. 
Baird, the kill. Katie Baird now with 15. 14th point for Stanford. Finds that back corner. Velarde continues with the serve. Blocked by Stanford, falls in fairly. Lewis off the block. Velarde with the up. Miner at the set, tipped, gets up in time. Baird, off the block again, Bellardi recovers. Kip, softly over. Gonzalez, miscommunication in the back row between Bellardi and Rubin. Point Oregon, they've now hit 20. Gonzalez serving for Oregon. Marietta, Georgia native, Ohio State transfer, been key for this Duck squad. Baird with the tip, finds it. Cardinal back within four. And now number two, Katie Miner serving. Katie Baird with her 16th kill of this match, hitting 333. Miner with the serve. Fucus, the tip by McGee. Side out by Oregon. They lead by five here in the fourth set. Murphy. Kip, recovery, Baird, dig by Gonzalez, Collier, strong, make it 22 ducks, wow. That was the 10th kill of the night for Collier, making three ducks total with at least double digit kills this evening. Puccini, Lewis, long. Point goes to the Cardinal. Katie Baird will serve for Stanford. They are trying to chip away. The Ducks have made some excellent adjustments after the first couple of sets. Service error for Stanford. That's the 16th service error that we have seen tonight by the Cardinal. Compare that to Oregon's 13. 23-17. McClellan back at the line. That's out of bounds. 14th service error for Oregon. Seen over 30 in total in this match. Both teams wanting to clean that up just a touch. Now Ogilvy finds herself at the line. Big block, out of bounds. Set point for the Oregon Ducks once again. They dropped the first two, they took the third one. They are trying to even it up here in the fourth set. Call your serve. Kip, big swing. Kendall Kip with a match high 17 kills. We'll now find her at the service line. Stanford's got its work cut out for them as they trail by five. Gonzalez blocked. Back to Gonzalez. Lost the next one by six, then won the third set by five, won the fourth set by six. Heading into the fifth. A lot on the line here 
in this last stretch of Pac-12 play. Cammie Miner serving for Stanford. Lewis, dig by Miner. Ogilvy to Baird, fight at the net. Miner back to Baird. Collier, handled by Rubin. The set to Baird once again. Collier again. Oregon has scored first the past two sets. The rally is going. Finds the corner. Third set. In a row, but it looks like actually called out of bounds. So the first point of this set goes to Stanford. That has broken the mold. The past two, Oregon scoring first. The Cardinal with the lead for the first time in a while. Lewis tip off the net. Oglevy tries, but against the net. Tied up at one. It's really remarkable the improvement that Oregon has shown. Again, sub 100 hitting percentage on the attack in the first set. They chipped away, got better and better. 392 in this match after that fourth set. They were out hitting Stanford with 336 on the Cardinal side. Also out blocking them eight to six coming in to this set. They didn't have any blocks at all in the first set. So the adjustments have been incredible. Minor back set to Baird. Handled by Oregon. Collier, big dig by Ogilvy. Kip. Gonzalez. Straight down by Vicini. Stanford regains the lead, two to one. A key moment by McKenna Vicini. Good read at the net. Two kills on the night. Pringle serving. Lewis slams it down. Morgan Lewis tying things up for the Ducks. That is 18 kills, a match high for the senior. Daly McClellan once again at the line for the Ducks. Kip tries to tip off the net. Too many touches. Point goes to Oregon. They now have the lead once more. Oregon doing a nice job of keeping Stanford out of system as much as possible. The service error ties things back up. The reigning defensive player of the week in the Pac-12, Elena Oglevy, now serving for Stanford. Service. Blocked! The roof comes down from Stanford. Sammy Francis, Elia Rubin deny the Oregon Ducks. Beautiful execution to give the Cardinal the lead. Dump attempt. Stanford recovers. Kip. Big dig, but back over to Stanford side. Miner over to Rubin. Big swing. Elliot Rubin, sixth kill of the night. The pressure's on here in the fifth set, and it's the fifth point for Stanford with some oomph behind it from Rubin. Oglevy again. Collier blocked. Francis Kip, they do it again. The Cardinal lead by three. Wow. 
Stanford turning things up here in the fifth set. Stanford once again ahead by three. And this is when things become mental. You have two of the best teams in the country, the two best teams in the Pac-12. In that fifth set, late in the match, how are, are you going to execute? Tip, Kip, keeps it up. Ruben off the block, handled by Stanford. Ruben again. Over to Gonzalez. Miner tries to dump. Oregon stays alive, but looks like a little bit of contact, and that gives Stanford the point. The Cardinals surging back here in the fifth set against the Oregon Ducks. What a matchup this has turned out to be. Just another Thursday in the Pac-12, but a huge night in the national standings as well for women's volleyball. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for... Media Rare. Hi. Chocolate. I oh, just buy them already. Oh, Makate. Lady freaking Gaga? You know who loves you? MGM, baby. You don't come to Vegas for one game, one race, one fight, one matchup, or one team. You come for the epic pregame and three days of postgame. You come for the showtime and go time and 24 hours of prime time. Because the game is just the beginning. Las Vegas, the greatest arena on earth. Old Trapper Beefs. Last bag. You know there's plenty for both of you. Old Trapper, what's your beef? Stanford can't handle it. Another point, Oregon, they're within two. The Oregon team. They had two preseason Pac-12 award winners in Collier and Pucas. The Stanford team who had six. And the Ducks keep fighting. Timeout called by Stanford. Still lead by one here in the fifth set. Take a quick break. Be back in a moment. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for... Media Rare. Hi. Chocolate. Delicious. Oh, just buy them already. Oh, Makase. Lady freaking Gaga? You know who loves you? MGM, baby. Stanford leading all time in this series, 69 and 7. Looking for win number 70 against the Ducks, who have not made it easy. Gonzalez off the block. Minor Francis. Getting it done. Point goes to Stanford. Two point lead once again. The presence of Sammy Francis has been huge late in the match. Elia Rubin. Service error. That one hurts. Bit of a break for Oregon as it brings them within one. 17th service error for Stanford in this match. Stanford team who is leading the nation in hitting percentage as a squad coming into this as well as assists per set. Tip from Baird. Successful. Double digits for the Cardinal. Baird reading this extremely well. Seeing the defenders come up on the net, finding the hole. Baird continues to be an offensive force for the Cardinal tonight. Lewis finds the back corner. Wide open for the Ducks. They trail by one. This match tonight really speaks 
to the strength of Pac-12 volleyball. Top 10 matchup against Washington State last week for Stanford. Here they are again with Oregon. Blocked! Vicini bringing the roof down on Oregon. I love that straight face, not phased whatsoever. That's a big swing coming from Kara McGee. And Vicini was unfazed. 11-9 Stanford. Minor. Off the block, recovered by the card. Kip, softly. Collier, the dig by Ogilvy, over to Baird. Dig by Murphy, big swing from Collier. 13 kills for the sophomore. Oregon once again within one. This match is going down to the wire. This is what you expect not only from two top 10 teams, but also this late in the season, they both had very strong schedules and that's done on purpose to prepare you for moments like this and for the postseason. Last play under review for net violation. While we're waiting, let's take a look at what that schedule has looked like. For Stanford, they started preseason with seven straight preseason ranked opponents with Florida, Texas, Rice, Ohio State, Minnesota, Nebraska, Louisville, who they reverse swept in Louisville. So the Cardinal coming out on top over the Cardinals. And then on Oregon's side, again, their entire 11 match non-con schedule was on the road, but 11 of those total, eight of those 11 preseason were ranked in the polls. And three of their last six, again, opponents, top 25, they have ASU again, as well as USC coming up. Point is confirmed for Stanford. So that's going to change things up here with the score. It is 12 for Stanford, 9 for Oregon. That's a big swing. You go from being within one point to three with a move like that. See the Oregon coaching staff chatting with the officials here. Looked like Colby Neal was thinking about coming on the court and subbing in. Head coach Matt Ulmer. Now chatting with the officials as the fans try to stay hyped here in Maples. At the end of this match, no matter what happens in these last few minutes, this Oregon squad has fought every single minute. Stanford tumbled a little bit there in the third set and the fourth set, coming back in the fifth set, making some adjustments. This is what the two best teams do. This has been some excellent volleyball and just competition and tension that we've been able to see in the last season of the Pac-12 as we know it. Fans still dancing. <laughs> Gotta love the commitment. Trying to keep it loose. The player's still trying to keep it loose as well. We'll resume play here with Miner still at the service line. Collier. Back to Baird. Dig by Oregon, back set, blocked! Vicini and Baird are at it again! Talk about stepping up, literally, when it matters the most. Take another look, Katie Baird, owning that one. Vicini there for support. Important moment for Stanford. 
They have double digit blocks on the night with 11 compared to Oregon's nine. Barrett also leading with kills with 18 for Stanford. Match high night. Back at the service line for the Ducks is Georgia Murphy. Kip, big kill by Kip. How many times have we said that tonight? 18 for Killer Kip. And she makes it match point here for the Cardinal. Fans are on their feet, Anna Pringle at the service line. Collier 